All right, in an effort to rein in the president's use of drone strikes, a group of senators have proposed forming, get this, a so-called assassination court. The court would review the drone target and whether he or she should be taken out. In his four years in office, President Obama has approved using of drones to kill suspected terrorists, even American citizens, more than 350 times. So does the president need to be reined in? Is it possible for this court to function effectively? Let's ask Fox's Fox News' senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano, author of the book that's now out, Theodore and Woodrow. Judge, are you for this panel? Well, no, no, I'm not for the panel, and I don't think the panel's consistent with the Constitution at all. The, the very idea of a panel that somehow judges meeting in secret could authorize the president or someone in the, whom the president designates to kill people presumes that the president and the judges have the power to do this. They don't. The Constitution specifically, well, back up. The, the Declaration of Independence guarantees your right to live. It guarantees your right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The Constitution says if the government wants to interfere with your right to life, liberty, or the pursuit of happiness because it believes you've done right. something wrong, it can only do so through due process. Due process means declaring war on a foreign country or putting somebody on trial. If a person is driving in a truck in a desert in Yemen, no matter what his intentions, he's not actively engaged in any warfare against the United States of America. It is absolutely criminal for the president to kill that person and for a judge to authorize it. The authority simply doesn't exist, and it's denied expressly by the Constitution. But how about this? If you have proof, which you do, you know that he inspired and, and trained the uh, underwear bomber. You know he inspired uh, Hassan over at Fort Hood. You've, you've seen the letter. You've seen the paper trail. Just because he was born in America, he shouldn't be allowed to live. Well, that, that defies the Constitution, because the Constitution makes no exception for the right. government shall not take your life without a jury. Trial. So having said that, isn't this like the FISA court where the there will be a check on the president to present his case before they kill? This is a transfer of the power to kill from nowhere. The president has just seized it himself. He's given himself permission to kill to judges meeting in secret. So you're I'm against not sure, it against. I'm not sure, I'm not sure which is worse. You're, you're against because the premise. By, by putting the burden on the judges, the president takes the heat off himself. Let me tell you why the president's killing. Because he doesn't have the courage to address the issue of Guantanamo Bay, which he said he would close and he hasn't. Because he doesn't have the courage to put these people on trial who are in Guantanamo Bay, which he said he would and, and he hasn't. He thinks it would, be, it would be easier politically to kill them. He might be right. It might be easier to do so politically, but morally right. and legally, it's reprehensible. He's only captured one, and we don't even know where that guy is. Or uh, who it is. Yeah, uh, John Brennan brought that up, but he didn't have the number. It's hard to memorize the, uh, the number one. How could Brennan not know these things? Um, that's unbelievable what he forgets when he wants to get a job. Uh, Judge Ed Napolitano, thanks so much. Oh, pleasure, Brian. All right. Uh, no matter what we talk about. I know, even <laughs> if we don't agree. All right, 10 minutes down before the top of the hour. Coming